Hey fam, Shandan speaking. Shh, Shandan. Previously, we discussed who an attractive person is based on empirical evidence and research. And I recommend you checking it out to understand that what I'm about to say is not just some random nonsense that I personally came up with. Today, we will talk about five things you need to take care of to make yourself a hundred times more attractive. I will outline both short-term and long-term strategies of how to become more beautiful and what precisely you need to work on to increase your attractiveness by a hundred times without plastic surgery or lip filler. Without further ado, let's dive into that. So the two main strategies in which you can improve your looks are short-term and long-term. The first thing you can do are easy hacks that can help you boost your looks right here, right now, and those things will already drastically change the way you look. Those are makeup, personal style, and I mostly refer to clothes, the way you dress, and finally, hairstyle. The latter I have already discussed in one of my previous videos. The rest I will cover in the upcoming videos. Today our focus will be on long-term strategies. So, as we discussed in the previous video, one of the two most important universal beauty criteria is health. The healthier you look, the more attractive others perceive you to be. Now let me give you a deeper understanding of what physical features you need to target and how you can make them more attractive. Quickly before I start revealing the darkest beauty secrets, I want to establish a couple of rules to help you with the journey to your attractive self. Rule number one. Health comes first, aesthetics second. Whenever you start working on your appearance or on any specific feature you do not like, first always think about your health implications and how you can improve it health-wise. And the visual aspect comes after that. Rule number two. Very important. I want you to pay all the attention you have to what I'm about to say right now. We do it because we love ourselves, not because we want someone else to love us. It doesn't matter who, the society in general, the opposite sex or that one particular guy or girl. People come and go, especially love interests. Look at the divorce rates. And I'm not even talking about relationships which are not legally registered. Even the most attractive people have multiple failed relationships throughout the course of their lives. Remember, the only love that can last for life is self-love. You having or not having a relationship does not define your self-worth. You are the biggest asset in your life. So appreciate yourself just because you are. And the next time you make a decision about anything that I say later on, ask yourself a question. Is it good for me, for my body and for my mental health? Now let's disclose the secret precious information. So, as I mentioned before, today we will discuss how we can achieve one of the two most important beauty criteria, aka health. So, the features that you need to focus on to boost your appearance are healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy teeth, healthy weight and good posture. Let me break them down. So, when we talk about healthy hair, we mean for it to be silky, shiny and voluminous, meaning either you have a lot of hair or sufficient amount of thick hair. Healthy skin means it's free from acne, pores are small, texture is smooth and with a star it has even coloring. Why I added even coloring is because those are not my words, it was taken from research whose aim was to identify beauty criteria. However, I put it with a star because even coloring means you have no red or purple pimples, no dark spots or dark circles underneath your eyes and also no freckles. And the letter became very trendy recently and it is considered cute and beautiful and people even spray fake freckles. It's crazy to think how some things for which a certain group of people could have been bullied in the past are now praised for having. I guess this is some type of redemption. Well, I'm glad that happened. Finally, people have at least minus one thing to be insecure about. But anyways, the rest of the criteria are pretty transparent. I just wanted to add that if you are a teenager and you have acne, remember, it's a part of a natural maturing process and time may solve it for you anyways. Now let's move on. Teeth. Healthy teeth and healthy mouth in general means you have no cavities, fresh breath and nice aesthetics. In this case, white straight teeth. And I want you to follow this list exactly in this order. Remember. Health comes first, aesthetics second. 
Healthy weight is defined mathematically. It means you have a healthy BMI, body mass index. If you count your weight in kilograms, your BMI is calculated in the following way. You take your weight in kg and divide it by your height in meters squared. For example, if your weight is 60 kg and your height is 1.65 meters, you divide 60 by 1.65 squared and you get a BMI equal to 22.04. If you measure your weight in pounds, you divide your weight in pounds by your height in inches squared and multiply it by 703. For example, a person whose weight is 165 pounds and whose height is 66 inches divides 165 by 66 squared and times it by 703. The resulting BMI is 26.63. What do those magic random numbers mean? If calculated BMI is less than 18.5, you are underweight. If it's between 18.5 and 24.9, you have normal weight. If it's between 25 and 29.9, you're overweight. And a BMI of 30 or more means obesity. Good posture. It's pretty self-explanatory. It means having a straight spine with the least amount of curvature possible. But I want to point out some of the not-so-obvious consequences of having a bad posture and not just constant back pains at quite a young age. That first and foremost, if you are constantly curved, your shoulders are rotated inwards and your head is pushed forward and down, you create an impression like you lack confidence. And if you create this impression, people will treat you accordingly. And eventually, your internal confidence will start to go further down. So, just by correcting your posture, you can instead increase your confidence firstly externally and then internally. Fake it till you make it. Secondly, and this I find extremely fascinating and motivating, this factor makes me work on my posture every single day. And that is that your posture impacts your facial attractiveness. People's face profiles are perceived more or less attractive depending on their neck position. Moreover, if you look at people who have bad posture from the side, with time, the more forward your head is, the more receding the chin becomes. So good posture not only makes you look confident, but also more facially attractive. Okay, how can we achieve all of that? I am a person who struggled with most of those things and I can give a couple of advices that help me and that can be used to target all of these goals in general. But for each of those sections, I will post a separate video to talk about what we can do to achieve every one of them individually. So if you don't want to miss it out, you know where the subscribe button is. Let's move on to general advice. One thing that can help you achieve five out of four of those things is actually good diet. (laughs) What we eat impacts our skin, our hair, our weight, our teeth and breath. Precisely, you need to have food that contains enough protein. Today, we live in a very protein deficient environment. We go to school cafeteria, most of the time the food options there will have a lot of carbs and very little amount of protein. We go back home, open our cupboards And we see what? A pack of Doritos. Snacks. Once again, high in carbs, low in proteins. We go out to a restaurant or a cafe and most options there, apart from steaks, are high in carbs and fats but don't contain enough protein. And I'm not even mentioning the fact that those are our regular meals and after that we may even finish it up with a dessert and or add some empty useless calories in a liquid form. Protein is used to build our muscles and it's the main building material of our cells. But apart from that, it is something that can make you full for a long period of time because meat and fish can take up to two days to fully digest. So eating enough of protein will help you eat less. Secondly, quit sugars. All of those empty calories, desserts, crisps, sauces you buy in grocery stores, such as ketchup and mayo, stop ordering Domino's every week, stop drinking fizzy drinks. Those are absolutely useless calories. They do nothing good to your body. Two important things that I want to say here. Firstly, don't quit them radically, once and forever. Today, you finished your fifth Snickers bar whilst drinking Coke and swear that you will never touch both of them ever again. Then, a couple of days later, or even less, you sit on the couch with 10 Snickers bars and 2 liters of Coke. 
Radical changes only lead to binge eating. Make small gradual changes. For example, start by replacing one of your unhealthy snacks with a healthier alternative. And here it's important to say, don't prevent yourself from eating this food ever again, okay? You can eat it if you really want it, you just don't buy it back home. For example, you can order it when you go out with friends or you can buy one small portion of something you really like and eat it that day. Just don't do it every day and don't keep it at home. Because when it comes down to food, if it's accessible, if it's in your fridge or cupboard, it won't take long for it to end up in your stomach. Whilst eating out, it's not something we tend to do every day. Sugars, apart from having detrimental effects on our body weight and teeth, also make you age faster. This process is called glycation. The sugars in your bloodstream attaches to proteins and produces something called advanced glycation end products, AGEs. As they accumulate and the more sugar you eat, the more they develop, they damage the proteins around them, in particular collagen and elastin. These proteins keep skin firm, elastic, plump and bouncy. AGEs make your collagen and elastin stiff, dry and brittle. This leads to fine lines, sagging and wrinkles. So the faster you quit sugars, the longer you will stay young. I will post another video to talk about what helped me to get rid of my sugar addiction as I used to be a sweet tooth. I literally could not finish a meal without a dessert. And now I have nothing sugary at home apart from sugar itself, which I don't actually use. And it's been there for like a half a year now. So I would like to share my advice on how to quit it in a more sustainable way way in another video. But to finish it off, my beautiful aunt that I wanted to look as when I was a kid once said, there are no ugly people, there are people who don't take good care of themselves. And I think, apart from those very unfortunate cases, she is actually right. Most of the people can become above average looking if they start eating well, exercise and take care of their health in general. So I'm sure you can too. Just don't forget about rule number one and rule number two. And don't think about short-term rewards, but think of it as a journey. Every time you make a choice, think about it. What you're doing right now, is it good for you? Does it come from self-love or is it actually harming you? Or you're trying to compensate for something. Make choices that are good for you, for your body, your physical and mental health. Value yourself. You are the most precious person in your life. Remember that. And whilst you start your long-term journey to health and self-love, you can already change your appearance in a matter of seconds by choosing the right hairstyle. I recommend you checking out my video on that. The difference that a hairstyle makes to your face is almost miracle-like. It may literally replace plastic surgery. Be rational, be healthy, value yourself and know that I love you.